may seem simple, but two of the first and most important things that I teach students in the lab are to label everything and tab your tape. So making a little fold over on the end of your tape makes it much easier to pull off, especially after you autoclave things, and it makes it easier to find the end of the tape on your tape roll if you're the next person. A quick little tip is you can actually, when you're pulling it off, if you fold it over and tear it up, well now you have the tab ready to go on your new thing. So when you make your next piece of tape, it'll have a tab and there'll still be a tab on your tape roll so that you can easily peel off a new one. Voila. And now when you go to clean up your bottle, you'll be able to pull that tape off easily. I have spent way too long trying to like tease off little like grids or stuff stuck onto bottles. Um, just keeping tabs on things makes things so much easier. And yeah, you can always use like acetone or something to rubbing alcohol, things like that to kind of like get it off, but you don't want to be using all those solvents if you don't need to. So just keep a tab, be happy, and life's good. While we're on the topic of tape tips, I realized I have a few more. So first, when you go to autoclave something, not the solution, but just an empty bottle that had a solution in it before. Make sure you remove the old tape before you autoclave it, because when you autoclave it, it'll kind of harden it on there. If it does get hardened on there, you can try soapy hot soapy water and a little razor blade to scrape it off and then turn to isopropanol or acetone. But we want to avoid those things, so remove the tape beforehand. Sometimes you want, though, to make sure the tape does stay on. And one of the times that you might have trouble with tape staying on is especially if you have, like, soapy liquids and things like this. Make sure that the bottle is dry before you put the label on there. It may seem silly, but when you're in a hurry, you're just, like, rushing a label on there, and then you realize the label's halfway off. Sometimes you might also realize that the marker on the label is halfway off if you are dealing with something like ethanol, some sort of solvent. Those markers like your normal sharpie is not going to do the trick unless you have some sort of protection over it so what i like to do is if you don't if you have like a solvent proof pen that's marker that's great if you don't what you can do is take some of that big like packing tape like that big clear tape and actually just like put it all the way around um and seal it up so that if some of the solvent drips on it it doesn't drip the text off at least not initially though sometimes it might later like seep in Another thing so that might pop off is these like little cryo dots and stuff. They say they're freezer safe, but don't trust them. They have a tendency to pop off. They can be great when you want to like write a bunch of little text over and over and over again. It's a lot easier when it's just on like a piece of paper than on the top of tubes. But when the tip, the paper like pops off, not good. And so if you do have something like where you're using tape, like these little stickers, I recommend like putting some sort of mark underneath them just so you know what they are some sort of code that you then write on your box or whatever like this color stand for this or whatever just in case it pops off and then you wait like can't tell these tubes apart i learned that the hard way in undergrad with proteins that i had purified not good so make some sort of mark make sure you know and get really good at writing really tiny just on the the lids of the tubes and so if you're going to have a bunch of tubes that are going to be cold what i do typically is i just label things ahead of time in a rack just go just like they were on paper and just get really good at that really tiny writing um label the top of the tube so you can see it when it's in the box as well as the side of the tube so the top pops off all these things they the hard way so hopefully this helps hopefully i'm avoiding helping you avoid learning the hard way by telling you what I've learned the hard way and what I've learned the easy way and just picked up from lots and lots of time in the lab. So as always, hope this helped. Oh, and I have a whole like page of lab tips of those other random things that I think about from time to time that will hopefully help you. And so hope this helped. Happy taping.